Hey guys, so since the geo map is becoming so hot topics and all the social media platforms and stuff like that, uh, let's make a video and actually do the hands on with uh, configuration, how it looks like, what you're able to achieve with it and stuff like that. So basically the geo map is a new widget which is available in Azabic 6.0, which is not released at this particular moment of uh, recording the video, but uh, the beta version is already available and uh, you can test the geomap uh, widget functionality within this uh, beta version. Um, most important is, well, you can see it here, right? How it looks like. Uh, you can scroll all outside, zoom in, zoom out. And uh, the important thing is that you don't actually need to install anything like third party on your Zabbix server or the front end or whatever. So basically, as soon as you install your Zabbix 6.0, at least uh, you have this functionality to use uh, your geo map and uh, display some hosts or host groups within the map. And uh, this is OpenStreetMap and you have slide options to change the provider of the map visualization. To do that, basically you have to be the super admin because the configuration is done in the administration sec section. So we need to go administration, then uh, general and uh, geographical maps. There we go. Uh, so geographical maps and here you're able to choose between uh, multiple top tile providers that are available out of the box. And this is the list. This is what you get. So you can get an open street map mapnik, which is a default one, open topo map, uh, stamen, toner, light, stamen, terrain, USGS and so on and so on. So basically, if you don't like the visualization, you can choose, let's say, the statement turn, whatever it is, uh, click the update and go back to the monitoring dashboard and you see the map uh, looks different, right? It's a terrain map. So pick the one which is uh, useful for you. Um, important thing is that, of course, uh, geographical map. So uh, this is a global setting. So if you specify that you want to use a stay, uh, statement map uh, for the Terran um, as a provider for your GeoMap widget, this will be applied to all of your widgets and you don't have a possibility to choose different providers for different dashboards. Uh, there is also such possibility to use other, which basically um, allows you to fill in uh, the tile URL and attribution. So Good thing that in the Zabbix 6.0, there are also suggestions. So instead of simply go figure out what a tile URL is, you can just hover the question mark and you see that the URL template is used to load and display the tile layer on geographical maps and the example. The only thing that you need to keep in mind, so if you are using this other provider, which basically allows you to specify everything that you want, which is not in the, this list, uh, you need to specify the URL, but this uh, URL, URL, this provider must support the leaflet uh, URL, only then you are able to use it uh, as a provider for your widget inside this Zabbix. So we will go back to the default, uh, OpenStreetMap Mapnik, uh, click update, and go back to our dashboard. So for the widget itself, it is created just like any other widget. So we can just edit the dashboard and uh, I don't know, create a new one, choose uh, type geo map, click add, and there we go, we have a map, right? And uh, yeah, let's actually delete this one and start uh, probably clicking on this. So we created a widget and uh, initially it doesn't look great, right? So we see the all world, we see that there are 10 some sort of the hosts or host groups in somewhere in the Europe, basically. But configuration part is pretty simple. Like if we would open this, the settings of the widget, the only um, options that we get is uh, basically the name, which is just the visualization option, refresh interval, default one minute, uh, seconds or 15 minutes, this will heavily depend like on the purpose of uh, what you are displaying on the GeoMap widget. So if it is some sort of moving object, object, then most likely you want to have a refresh interval in some seconds. If it is a static object, just a location of your um, branches or, or shops or whatever else, then you can reduce the update interval just to take off some load. 
host groups and host what you want to show in this widget and also as usually filtering of the tags initial view this is how you actually want this to look like by default right so right now it looks like this i can zoom in and still after refresh of the page it will be zoomed out to the world view but the good thing here is that you don't have to make it over complicated you see i've already played around you don't have to make it over complicated with uh coordinates still you can do that just open google maps uh click the mouse button and copy coordinates uh you can just zoom in let's say now we see that all our hosts are actually located in riga and what we can do is just uh, click the mouse and set this view as a default then save changes and now basically every time i will i don't know go to the monitoring problems go back to the dashboard i will have this view and if we would check the settings uh yeah there's basically blank uh, but there is the setting of the existing view that i just created if you want to specify something on your own you can just provide the latitude and longitude and after comma like in this example uh, 12 it is amount of the zoom that you will be um, using for the visualization this number might might differ from uh, from different providers but let's say if we'll try to apply this click apply it looks like this save change and uh, yeah refresh again like this and let's say let's change the zoom level from 12 to 10. now you can see that oh it actually let's try like five yeah so it still always stays like home uh, reset to initial view and there we go so save changes and uh, config let's change this to two apply and you see it zooms out so for us it was 12 and click apply there it is like this if we don't like this view and we're sick of copy pasting coordinates just move it wherever you want it to be and mouse click set this view as a default there you go save and yeah it's always going to be right this so the elements on the widget itself these are actually representing the hosts and uh, again important thing here is that if you remember then in my config i don't have any settings right i don't have selected any host groups or any hosts and uh, in my opinion it is a bit strange but if you don't have any filtering options specified then it will load all the hosts or yeah basically all the hosts that have uh gps location specified in their inventory fields and uh, by default this will be up to 1000 hosts so let's say if you're doing some sort of the testings and uh, you didn't provide the list of the host groups or hosts that you want to show you will see like probably a thousand uh, elements on your map doesn't matter what sort of the zoom you have basically all the hosts that have this uh, longitude and latitude specified in the inventory so to avoid that it is always recommended to specifically define what exactly you want to show so let's say if i in this case will specify virtual machine host group and i know that uh, none of the hosts actually has uh, gps locations in this host group then these elements will be gone so there we go nothing here but if I will choose uh, DB servers, and in this host group, we have six hosts and each of them has some sort of GPS location, then we get these elements. And these, all these elements are actually clickable. So let's say this is uh, yellow slash orange, whatever, and we know that it has some sort of a problem. So we can click it, we see the host name, uh, Oracle ODBC03, and there is one trigger active with a warning severity problem so we can just click go to the problems and we see what the problem actually is so there as usually are shortcuts so from the dashboard where we just initially notice the problem or whatever else we can go to the host and let's say check the latest data um, check the problems page uh, and run also some scripts as detect operating system ping or whatever else you have configured uh, we also see uh, the hosts that actually don't have any issues like in this case my sql server 01 uh, which is green uh, all triggers are in the okay state and here under the filter button you're also able to 
uh, filter out what um, problems you actually want to show. Let's say only high severity triggers. So only this element appears. And if from the filtering you match more than, I don't know, more, some more hosts and one host will have a new problem, which severity will be high. It will also appear here in your widget. Or let's say maybe you want to show only hosts uh, that don't have any problems. This sounds a bit w weird. You would probably want to show uh, hosts that have some sort of the problems, right? But yeah, that's up to you. And uh, then the last part is okay. So how can we actually feed these locations uh, to our hosts that we want to visualize on uh, our OpenStreetMap widget. So basically, in each host, we can go to the configuration hosts. And uh, here is the host group with uh, those six hosts that are displayed in a widget. And uh, what we do just uh, click on I know my SQL server, and we're looking for inventory. And in the inventory, we have two new fields, uh, location latitude and location longitude. So this is information that we need to provide uh, to our host. And there are a couple of ways how you can do that. In my example, just for the testing purposes, I specify this as a manual. So basically, I just manually opened Google Maps and uh, mouse click, copy paste the coordinates and paste them here in the front end. If you want to automate this, and let's say you're monitoring some something that is able to uh, respond with uh, its own uh, GPS coordinates, which may be changing, then what you do is just you specify this uh, inventory as automatic. And in uh, the items configuration, so you must have an item that will um, that will collect this longitude and latitude from the host. And then basically you create this item and specify, I will go back, sorry, um, my SQL server. So you go to where are we cancel, uh, go back to the items. So let's say create a new item and you figure out your item that is able to gather this longitude and latitude. And then you specify that this item actually populates inventory field and uh, search for location latitude, location longitude, right? And then based on the update interval of this item, whenever the location changes, location of each of these elements will also change in your map. Um, of course, based on the update interval of this widget with a default uh, one minute might not be the best choice for uh, dynamic moving objects. But again, you decide what's what's the best for you. And uh, that's it. So that's pretty simple. That's actually extremely simple to use this uh, GeoMap widget, you don't need any uh, custom, I don't know, integrations, uh, custom modules, scripts, whatever, um, compiled together with a Zabbix to get this additional functionality. All of this comes out of the box, Zabbix 6.0 LTS supported for the next five years. Um, perfect choice for I know enterprises and big companies that don't want to jump across various versions. So have fun. If you have any questions or something left unanswered, uh, as usually write it in the comments, and I will try to help you. Thank you guys as usually and goodbye.